Hey guys, my name is Jack here in Scotland, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be introducing to you the LCN's Solenopsis Proof Nest. Um, my Solenopsis Invictor outgrew that M kit nest and basically destroyed it, and then I need to clean it. But I did have a backup plan. And this came at very short notice, and it was a stroke of luck, and I'm super happy with my purchase. It's the LCN's Solenopsis Proof Nest. Now, this nest is specifically designed for small species, such as Solenopsis and Fidoli, kind of. I mean, I guess you could use it for Fidoli, too if you want that purpose. So, the Solenopsis Proof Nest is housing my Solenopsis Invicta colony with about 400 workers. And by God, the chambers are massive. 15 um, cm, I think. And then they um, have masses of space for brood. So, the chambers of brood, um, there's about two chambers of brood, um, Two which are most filled and the others are just like traffic and they're eating out of a bottle cap and at the moment. So after the bottle cap I'm just going to flow, flow in live food because it'll be a heavy uh, heavy amount of traffic and then when they settled in because they only settled in today. Um, the um, outworld is absolutely fantastic. It's got a nice amount of room and then a nice amount of room and I can take off the lid and you know they can eat and things without me you know getting stung and stuff. I was told um that this was the best choice by Che and I was going to buy it and I was like, inst I instantly, even if Che never told me I was a bought it anyway, and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have this and now I'm obsessed with it. So, um, I had to buy, I bought another setup, so another setup comes in a few days for my Solenopsis Gemini and they need a new nest and they are getting a ton of brood. They've um, been a bit slow on the brood recently and um, they are picking up the pace now and they're wanting more and more space so I need to give them another nest as well. So their nest will be the same as Invicta and this is, uh, this is going to keep them well in line for a good few months. And yeah, so this has been the LCN's nest. I'm going to also put in a few um, time lapses as well, I'm going to like have a time lapse on repeat now for you. Here's a quick time lapse for them. And um, yeah, this has been the LC and Nest and Outworld for Solenopsis. Well, the uh, Outworld is specifically designed for Solenopsis, but I thought I'd get it anyway, and it'd give it a nice amount of room for my um, Solenopsis Invicta so I don't get stuck. It's got a removable lid, and a, uh, it's got two lids, so I could remove them, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, hope you have enjoyed this episode, and... Um, yeah, um, I'll update you on my Gemini when they're in their setup as well. So yeah, um, I love this Invicta colony and I hope it continues to grow. Um, they're about up to 400 workers now. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. See you later.